Hey folks, here we are, NAM 2017. Alan, we're here again. Tall guy, short guy, just Rocking what it. you want. We matched it that way. That's how we rolled. Now listen, we're here in the Fender Lair. All kinds of new and exciting things this year. Guitar Frontier, tell us the American standard is no more. What do we got? What's happening? We have transitioned into the new American Professional series. So it's very exciting because we have a lot of new models like Jaguars and Jazz Masters. Uh, Tele Deluxe, that's kind of a throwback to a 72 of sorts. Right. Um, and there's some shared features that I'm sure you've already noticed that are wonderful on these new instruments. For instance, a new neck shape. So it's what we're calling a deep C. It's a little thinner at the first fret. It gets thicker towards the 12th. It's kind of a vintage feeling thing. Yes, it is. A little bit more sinuous than the old thing. <laughs> well, yes, thank you. If um, that may be so bold. <laughs> supple, if I dare say. Um, it's nine and a half inch radius, taller frets, so yep. it's easier to do your cool bends. Yep. Um, all new V-Mod pickups in all the instruments. They sound glorious. Yeah, they're our best vintage pickups that we had Tim Shaw do his He's nasty stew to. He is, yeah. So he helped us design all the new single coils for the strats and tellies. Um, what we've done is we've actually shared different magnets on the same pickup for some of the positions. So we've got Alnico 5 and 2 here and Alnico 3 and 2 here mixed into the same pickup. Huh. And that kind of allows you to dial the strings in like on a mixing board when you're playing with the faders. Um, so it's a very interesting sound. Um, you were eking some amazing tones out of that set. So it's easy to do with this, yeah, rascal. Play a little on the neck pickup. That's one of my favorites. Whoa, sorry about that. Turn on the volume, you don't lose those highs. Fist yes. it, fist it. That's the treble bleed that you so effectively used right there. Uh, treble bleed is a little capacitor resistor, as you well know, that we put in there to allow you to turn down the volume without losing the highs. You always ride your volume, and you just showed us how well that works. Well, I'm so glad you guys put that in, because that's something that, you know, old school guys, I mean, it, it works, the old volume control works on a, I don't have like this where you're getting that power amp distortion, but any other scenario where most people live where right. you're using pedals or whatever or preamp distortion, right. you need this or else it's a world of pain. So yeah. I always used to add it in, so now you guys have already done it. Right out of the box, ready to go. <laughs> Bone talk. nuts now on all the instruments. Okay. That's a cool feature. Also, uh, you don't have an arm here, but the arm is now a pop-in arm, so all that play and fiddling about in the trim hole is gone. It's a very tight fit, very smooth. Dig um, it. And this is the new antique olive color, which I is one of my color. favorites. It's against the black, it's happening. And Pretty the, cool. The cream uh, pickup covers, that's totally cool. Yeah, so the big neck shape, big frets, uh, V-Mod pickups, treble bleed, bone nuts, those are shared across all the different models of guitar. Um, and we, of course, have every flavor under the sun, from double shawbuckers to single uh, HSS shawbucker strats to three singles coil strats, double shawbucker tellies, regular tellies, all the good stuff. And as we've talked about before, those shawbuckers are the bomb. They will shawbuck you right into the next week. Can you dig it? <laughs> I like that kind of talk. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, the shawbucker, I think, is the most... Uh, com uh, conducive to the single single humbucker sitch. I agree. Um, if you want to keep playing, I'll grab one for you. Turn the volume down.
Sounds killer. Yeah, and you're making it sound amazing. Thank you. So the new Shawbucker, um, we released that about a year and a half ago or so. Uh, going back to the Seth Lover kind of design, not yeah. potted, Alnico 2. Uh, mates really well with these new V-Mod single coils. So another cool feature about the Shawbucker Strat here is that there's a stacked pot that has a 250 and a 500K pot in there. For both the different scenarios. That's right. So when you're in the bridge using the Humbucker, it's a 500K. And then when you're using single coils, it automatically switches over to 250. So that's exactly what those pickups want to see. See, this is the kind of thing that people are, don't understand. Like, well, what can you do to a Strat and a Tele? These are all the, the minutia stuff that brings the gravy to a boil. Exactly, you know yeah. So we did all these little tweaks. I mean, you know, how can you improve a Strat or Tele? They're almost perfect as they are. We took a hard look at every element, the bridge, the pickups, the neck, and we only made changes or tweaks where we thought we were really improving the instrument. So the treble bleed, obviously useful. We love the new neck shape. Taller frets, useful for bending. Um, V-Mod pickups just give it a little bit of oomph. Tim Shaw is a beautiful pickup designer. So. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's all Tim Shaw pickups in there. Um, bone nuts, of course, so all that stuff. Totally Just makes sense. Adds I get up, it. Adds up to the perfect stew. If you will. Well, thank you so much for spending thank some you, time Greg. with us. Always a pleasure, Alan. Gregory Cockery here in the Fender Lair at NAMM 2017. Can you dig it? We'll see you later.